In the mid-1980s, there were over 21 sheep per person in New Zealand. Today, there are fewer than six sheep per New Zealander. This is a good thing. To understand why, you need to take a look at subsidies. Sheep have always been a big part of New Zealand's economy. So when the industry was rocked by economic shocks in the 1970s, the government stepped in and started handing out subsidies. These mitigated the losses but led to higher production, less competitive practices and greater inefficiency. The overproduction also led to lower prices, which led to lower incomes and the need for higher subsidies. In 1984, David Lang was elected Prime Minister of New Zealand. He took on a country with crippling debt and a struggling economy. By now, subsidies to sheep farmers made up to 40% of their income, and subsidies to the agricultural industry as a whole amounted to 4% of the nation's GDP. As part of wide-ranging reforms led by Finance Minister Roger Douglas, the subsidies and incentives were removed. The result? Farmers became more efficient. They cut non-essential costs and reduced the use of environmentally harmful pesticides and fertilizers. No longer incentivized by subsidies to focus on sheep, farmers started to diversify. While many farmers turned to cattle, others turned to horticulture. The amount of land dedicated to vineyards has risen sixfold from 1984, while the weight of kiwi fruit exported rose fivefold in the 20 years following the reforms. Meanwhile, the money that was being spent on subsidies can instead be spent on public services, such as schools and hospitals. Today, agriculture's share of New Zealand's economy has increased, and the industry is in a strong position. So, while there are fewer sheep, New Zealand's agricultural economy is doing better than ever thanks to the removal of market-distorting subsidies.